Thank you for calling Tim Hortons. This is Samantha. How can I help you? Hi, Samantha. I'm just calling um, because I was on the Twitter, right? And uh, and I noticed people mm-hmm. saying they're boycotting Tim Hortons. And I'm a big fan of the Double Double. I don't know if you've had it before, but the, that's probably my favorite drink that you offer. And uh, I'm calling from Ottawa, by the way. And I was just wondering, like, A, is it true that you can't send your kids to the camp that Tim Hortons is doing if you're not vaccinated? Is that what's happening? It is true, yes. And it is up to the camp itself, even though they are using our name. Wow, okay. So so you're, so you're Tim Hortons is, the camps that you guys are doing are not allowing children who are not vaccinated? And what ages? That is correct. And I am not sure of what ages, just because this isn't, this isn't the corporate office. This is the complaint that goes to the store. Right, okay. How can I talk to the corporate office? Um, you would have to look it up online and see. If they usually only have an email address. So how do I? But how do I talk then to a, to a Tim Hortons person? Not a hundred percent sure. Can I talk? It's, it's like they don't even. Right. Sorry. Go ahead, please. Sorry, they don't give us much here. It is just a ticket system. We just take down the, the complaints for the stores and send them off to the store. Can I can I talk to the supervisor there, Samantha? Um, you can, but it is on a callback basis, just because we all work from home, and it, I have to fill out an entire form with your information, and then they will give you a callback. Okay, so Samantha, can you just break down then the what's going on? What so what Twitter is saying is true on the Twitter. People are are that is the case that I can't send my kids to your camps. As long as they are vaccinated, they are welcome. Yes. And what it, do you know the ages at all? I do not know. Wow. Okay. Because we're not in charge of the camps. So who is in charge of the camps? Who are the camp guards? It is all through a different party that's just using our name, and you can look it up on Google. I, I would do it for you. It just I don't have like a way to look it up on my computer. It, it's strictly shut down for all of like internet services. It's just a ticket system. That's amazing. Okay, Samantha, I'll I'll call back. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Bye bye. Manitoba. Camp White Show, speaking. Hi there. How are you, sir? Good, and yourself? Very well, thank you. Is this the Tim Horton Camp White Shell in, in Manitoba? Yeah, can I ask who's calling? Yeah, sure. It's Rohan. I live in Ottawa. And I was wondering, are, do you allow everybody to come in? So what age ranges do you have the kids in there? Can I ask where you're calling from? Sure. That's right, Ottawa. Yeah, can I ask what company you're calling from? I'm not calling from a company. I'm call- I'm an individual, and I've been hearing online that people are saying that you're not allowing unvaccinated children to come in. Is that the case? I'm not the person to talk to about this, so if you would like more information, it's info at timscamps.com, okay? I've tried to call them, and I did, and they said to me that I've got to call the camps in themselves. I'm going to say that's incorrect, and I'm going to say that, again, I'm not the one to talk to about this, and I don't have the information. So info at timscamps.com is the correct location, and I unfortunately need to hang up now. Goodbye. (laughs) Hi, thank you for calling Tim Hortons. My name is Stacy. How can I help you today? Hi, Mom. I mean, Stacy, um, I just called the camps because they said to me that I'm asking the different camps. There's seven camps, six in Canada, and one in se- and the seventh is in Kentucky, a place I've always wanted to visit, by the way. And um, I was asking them because Twitter is telling me that you're not accepting unvaccinated children at the Tim Hortons camps. Is that correct? 